Today, I would like to discuss with you an ancient Indian memorization technique. I learned the technique when I was a child. More correctly, I was taught the technique when I was a child by my father who had been taught the technique by his father who in turn had been taught the same by his father that is my great grandfather. Memorization played a key role in the evolution of Indian civilization. Knowledge was transferred from generation to generation through word of mouth for thousands of years. This meant that huge quantities of material had to be memorized. The memorization had to be complete and comprehensive. For example, a student in a Veda Patashala in ancient India was expected to master the four Vedas, Rig, Ejur, Sama and Atharva. Not just that, he was expected to master, to memorize the interpretations and the explanations of the Vedic textual material. This was indeed a very difficult task. A number of tricks were used to help the student to memorize this vast quantity of material. When all the tricks failed, when there was a particular area which defied the student's mastery despite his best efforts, when a particular passage failed to succumb to the efforts of the student despite all the techniques used, this specific technique was put into operation. This is looked upon as the ultimate memorization technique. This memorization technique can be used to commit to memory practically anything from a speech to an essay, from a formula to a table. I have personally used it myself since the days I was a schoolboy. The methodology of this memorization technique is as follows. Please listen carefully. You have to first write the target material down in your own hand. This is very important. Please don't skip the step. You have to record the target material in your own hand because what you write in your own hand is much easier to master than any other material. Next, you should read the target material as the last thing before going to bed. I think I said the last thing before going to bed. Perhaps I should have said the very last thing before going to bed. Because after reading the target material, you must not make a phone call. You must certainly not watch television. You must not even brush your teeth. You must just jump into bed. If you are feeling sleepy, you can wash your face with cold water before taking the effort. So, you should wash your face with cold water 
and read the target material 10 times with full concentration and then go to bed. Place the material by your side as you go to sleep. Next morning, when you get up, pick up the material and read it again 10 times, maybe after washing your face with cold water. I shall now repeat the four steps that constitute this memorization methodology. One, write the material down in your own hand. Two, read the material ten times with full concentration before going to bed after, if necessary, washing your face with cold water. Three, place the material by your side when you go to sleep. Four, wash your face with cold water when you get up in the morning and read the target material ten times. So you have actually read the target material 20 times, 10 times before going to bed and 10 times after you get up in the morning. But you have succeeded in tapping the unknown potential, the unused potential, the almost infinite potential of your subconscious mind. Between the point you read the target material ten times in the night and the point you read the material ten times in the morning, your subconscious mind applies itself and reads the target material two thousand times. Depending on your innate memorization ability, the training in memorization that you have undergone so far and the nature of the target material, you may have to repeat this process as many times as necessary, for as many days as necessary to gain a complete mastery over your target material. Please remember that the degree of earnest commitment that you succeed in putting in will determine the results of the effort that you take using this ancient Indian memorization technique. Let me conclude with a personal request. Please try this technique and let me know the results by posting a comment. Thank you.